Um, I'm Ken Rimple, Chariot Solutions. Uh, I run our training and education services um, and I've been co-chairing the ET conference for, I guess, going on three or four years now doing the AV stuff. Um, so we're here to talk about Spring on the back end and uh, JavaScript on the front end, also known as the mullet, right? Because you got the party in the, in the back and business in the front. It's the 80s again. Um, and three people laughed and most people went, oh God, so perfect. That's what I'm going for today. So, um, so anyway, that's me. I'm uh, David Taransky. I'm a developer with Spring Source, a uh, longtime Java developer and been using Spring since version 1.0, so uh, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary. So hardly an emerging technology, but I think we're doing a lot of things to stay current, uh, and we're going to uh, show you some of that today. So I'm just going to do roughly the same thing. I'm going to set up this uh, link. Has everyone who wanted to play around with this gotten to the point where they hit the website? So it's bit.ly, 17ax5, lowercase bt, very easy to remember. However, it's because Ken did not get a domain name for this uh, talk, so. so you also me. have an opportunity to try and crash the app because um, Don't tell them somewhat that. like the Romney <laughs> campaign, we've never tested it with this many people before we went Ooh, live. That's rough. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge and I'm afraid of it. Um, okay, so I'll put it back up again. I think I just heard someone ask. bit.ly 17a capital X5 lowercase bt. Dot com. Um, the pets.com people started that instead. So, all right. So, if you haven't gone in yet, well, tell me and I'll throw it back up there again. I have a little console here that I'm going to use to control it. Uh, it is clearly a developer's written console. You can see that I have absolutely beautiful skills and not doing good UI. Um, but what we're doing here is just setting up a little bit of a, uh, a quiz. Uh, and so we've actually preloaded the quizzes. We're storing them in uh, uh, MongoDB as just a JSON document. And uh, you know, we use actually, it's funny, we've got a whole bunch of languages here. So we use Groovy to parse and load them in uh, in JSON format to throw them into the database. And then what we're doing is just we're going to be using AngularJS on the front end, both to control the kind of the state of the application on the middle tier, which is Spring, and also to play the game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to call this the uh, mullet talk. And this will be a JavaScript quiz uh, for people who are Spring developers with JavaScript. So we'll hit start game. Um, what should happen is when you go and you register your nickname, so we can call this anything. So I'm going to call this Rimple Guy. Hit join quizzo. Uh, it should come up and say, you know, wait for a game. And if you logged in before this, this, sh this little game button shouldn't have appeared. But it should appear relatively rapidly afterwards. And the point being that this thing is checking every so often. We'll talk about short polling, long polling, and uh, server-side push with uh, WebSockets. We kind of have all three of those worked into this set of applications. So anyway, at this point, if, you're, if you see the button, go ahead and hit cl uh, click play. I think on the, the Android, it, the page doesn't render really well, so over by the word game, there's a text box with a cursor in it where you enter your name. Okay, that so. Does, and then you hit, you know, hit the go arrow on your keyboard to right. work. And then, so at this point, if you've gotten to the waiting of the other players, I'll just go ahead and start the game. Anyone still waiting? Probably not, I'm guessing. I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, so my really high tech, uh, set up here, I begin gameplay. So at this point, it should flip the user interface to the first question, which I will just minimize a little bit. There we go. So go ahead and take your question uh, answers. You just click on the button you think is the correct one. Uh, I'm using Twitter Bootstrap for the user interface because again, I'm not a CSS designer and that's a relatively easy one to use. Um, so you see I use the hero unit in the middle and I'm using the buttons with the uh, width of a whatever particular div there. Um, and just kind of laying things out in little chunks on the screen. Really just a simple prototype kind of thing. By the way, if you're busy chatting, I'm almost frightened to click this, but... Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I got a couple people here. Tim is online. Hey there. I Hopefully this is working. Null undefined. All right. So, all right, as we try to hack this thing. 
So we go ahead and click on what you're supposed to inside which HTML element to move with the JavaScript. You click script, and then it's awaiting the next question. I then put your score up there. Everyone here should have a 10 on that one. We should. Okay, well, that's understandable because I didn't test it on Android. Hey! So, well, I shouldn't lie. I tested it on a tablet, but I didn't really pay attention to. Hey, we're talking about Spring and JavaScript, not mobile. So, put it this way I was not planning on getting the responsible design working in time, unfortunately, because I did want to do that, actually. Um, but I clearly did not. Boo! Yes. So. While we're at it, let's go um, and fire up that other UI. Um, we have to go in and grab the... So we also have a, a little console. Yeah. So give us a few seconds. We're going to grab this little... The, the little thing down below is just a, a, a UUID that we use for each of the games. And David wrote a WebSocket uh, engine on Spring integration. So it wakes up and it gets stats from MongoDB and it broadcasts them out to any app that wants to listen on the WebSocket. So we're going to fire that server up. And then after we fire that server up, we're going to open up another panel and go back to it periodically as we do this. But meanwhile, I might as well just get you to the next question. So we'll click on end score question and next. And you should then get to the next question, which should be there. All right, so meanwhile, I'll do this while you're doing your, your question. I think I already grabbed that. But I'll do it anyway out of paranoid fear. Um, OK. All right, then we get a Maven. I'll just cat it. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second here. This will actually turn into a real talk in a few seconds. Um, <laughs> but we're just trying to show you like a, a simple example here to get started with. Maven, exec. I just keep typing wrong. M V N E X E C. Spring profile equals default. default. Game ID equals doink. And then your other thing is the. Right. So, what we're firing off now, so, so far this was just a simple MongoDB database with a Spring app in the middle. Spring app is keeping kind of basically session state for each of the users. And then it's serving up just a, a, a web application with Spring MVC. The web application is serving up uh, just basically static JavaScript files.